It's always standing there with all these mice in his hand, and that's when Lorenzo blurts out, but I thought you brought the iguana. <laughs> Lorenzo anyway. Lorenzo? Yeah. Let's just say he's sleeping with the fishes now. <laughs> he's having sex with a fish? What? He's he's sleeping with a fish? No, no. He's dead. You get it? We killed him. Oh, okay, good. That's what they should do to all those fish-loving perverts. No, we didn't kill him because he was having sex with a fish. We killed him for not making good on his debts. Yeah, well, now he's at the bottom of the East River with cement shoes. Oh, okay, I get it. And that's how he had sex with a fish. Ah, uh, no. We're the ones who tied the rocks to his feet. You helped him? We drowned him. Well, he would have done that on his own. Drowning is literally the number one cause of death for people who have sex with fish. Those fish fucking freaks, God, those fucking sea world swingers, God, those aquatic ass eaters. Why do you care so much about this? Like, I get that it's weird, but that happens in private? Did this, like, happen to anyone you know? Well, there was this one time on NPR when they talked about a woman who gave a dolphin a hand job, and uh, that just didn't sit well with me. I'm personally fine with what grown adults do in the privacy of a river, as long as there's consent. Uh, all right, volcano fish, give consent. I would think non-verbally, yes. Yo, you try to kill me. You try to kill me, huh? <gasps> Lorenzo! Jesus Christ, you're still alive? You try to kill me, huh? Well, you got another thing coming, you piece of shit. You the guy who was having all that sex with fish? What? What? These guys were saying you were sleeping with the fishes. Uh, that was one time. Oh, perv. <laughs> Flat. Earth flat. What don't you get? You're a flight attendant. Exactly. But I don't really think the Earth is flat. Oh, thank God. It's a cube. That's why there are different time zones. <laughs> why is everyone I date a conspiracy theorist? What we think we see? is an illusion, and this movie, this movie shows our actual reality. We just need to open our eyes to the truth. Couldn't you have shared this wisdom before our fifth date? All right, hold on, let me just grab a condom. Ah. Is this the rapper? No, silly. It's to protect my little buddy from the NSA tracker in your new IUD. Oh my goodness! How has this not come up in the year that we've been dating? Uh, you didn't have an IUD before? Huh? Anyway, just um, don't even think about it. Think of it as uh, ribbed for your pleasure. <laughs> I can't wait to meet your parents. Oh, before I forget, they have a funny little quirk you should know about. Sure, I can handle little quirks. And they don't believe in showering. They think the body naturally self-cleans. Wow, uh, that's not okay. <laughs> then again, it can't be too bad if Ashton Kutcher believes in it. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't judge. I don't judge. <laughs> but toothbrushing, on the other hand, sick. Sick as in you can't imagine not brushing twice a day. Uh, sick as in toothpaste is poison, okay? These teeth have been toxin-free for 10 years. I just chew gum. <laughs> Happy three-year anniversary, babe. To be honest, um, I stopped dating for a couple of years. I've had really bad luck, but I figured a doctor couldn't be too crazy, right? Not that I'm aware of. Good. Then you won't mind if I ask you a few questions. Do you believe in lumps? COVID? Rubella? Vaccines? Our current reality? Uh, yes. I am a doctor after all. I'm sorry, I had to ask. Every single person I date believes in wild conspiracy theories. Are you sure you don't have any? Okay, just a little one. I think aliens exist. Somewhere. Out there. That's it? I can handle that. Hey, is it you thinking everyone you date believes in conspiracy theories? A conspiracy theory? You're right. Maybe I have gotten a little carried away. Are you crazy? That has arsenic in it. They call it fluoride, but it can kill you. Don't you bring your own decontaminated water with you? You have water in there? I thought you were just an alcoholic. Oh, I am. Am I cursed? Did I do something to offend you, God? Oh, I get it. You're one of the sheeple. A sheep person. <laughs> Hello, this is Dr. Keller. Uh-huh. Sounds like a pericardial effusion. Put them on an IV and I'll be there soon. I am literally the only sane person in this city who is dying alone. All right, everyone, we're remaking the Boo Boo Bottle commercial from 50 years ago, an absolute classic. We nailed this and will be paid for years to come. Do we have the baby? I am so excited that my little baby boy is going to be the new Boo Boo Bottle baby. I can just see his future now. I bet. All right, places, everyone, we have to get this done before lunch. And we lose this space for Lil Wayne to film his masterclass series on modern entrepreneurial systems. Hey, sorry I'm late, guys. Uh, traffic was bad enough to make a grown man go, <laughs> if you know what I mean. What's going on? A baby bottle commercial. Heard we're finally remaking it. Thought I'd never be back. <laughs> but here we are. Yes, indeed. Oh, <gasps> oh, great. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Who the fuck is this? He's the Boo Boo Bottle Baby. Oh, uh, no. I'm the Bobo Bottle Baby. My name is Bobo Bottle Bobby. I mean, I've been there for 50 years. My name is on all the packaging. <laughs> but you're like, what, 50? Wow. Firstly, I've been told that I pass for a tired millennial. Secondly, how dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you saying you were the boo boo baby? Mm. This is such an honor. I can only dream of having your kind of staying power. Look, I know this is unconventional, but stay with the shoot. Please. But he's in a baby costume. Excuse me. I was the face 
of Bobo Bottle Bobby for, during the Vietnam War, okay? Apollo 13, when Kanye West oh, interrupted Taylor Swift during the 2009 MVMA Awards. Uh, I've been here for the people, okay? I've been here for the people. And now you're trying to replace me with a Gen Zer? With a TikTok? What? Where are my sides? Where are my sides? Where are my sides? He's eight months old. There are no words. Stop bragging. I'm 625 months young. I was the only baby that could speak in complete sentences. I bet you he can't even coo right. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Can you stop? He's gonna mess this up. I'm, I, I bet he doesn't even poop himself the right way. Let me, let me show you. Look, all due respect, you're a grown adult. We can't have you play a baby. Um, what if we had you coach? Pass on your skills? Perhaps. Okay. So we're going to go from the cry to the bottle reveal and happy baby garble. And action. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Don't worry, Preston. I'm going to get your boo-boo bottle right here. No! Jesus. No, 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 no! Cut. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Listen, being a baby on screen is so much different than your actual experience probably of being a baby on stage. Uh, you have to be better. Hey! The baby didn't even cry on command and his garble is two octaves too low. He sounds like a sailor. It should be coo, coo, coo at the front of his throat. The front of your throat? Oh, that's enough. We're out of here. No, this commercial was my ticket to a lifetime of royalties. Whatever, the kid's useless. Uh, he wouldn't even be able to say, I'm a little boo boo baby. Wait, say that line again? I'm a little boo boo baby. Damn it, it's perfect. You're hired. I'm a little boo boo baby. I didn't know you'd still be up. Is everything okay? Peter, didn't you see on the news? Oh, that Spider-Man saved my life today. Oh, no, I, I didn't. I, that's incredible. He was so heroic, so brave, so, so manly. Uh, mm, that spider body. Peter, I'll tell you, I haven't felt this way since I met your uncle. Oh, what do you mean? Peter. I want to fuck Spider-Man. Yeah, me! Oh, Peter, you're 18 now. You can hear that kind of thing. Jesus, just... Wow. I know it must sound silly to you. I mean, I'm 74 years old. But I'm not getting any younger, and Uncle Ben's been gone for probably two weeks now. So it's time for me to get back out there. Not like this. Wait a minute. You know him, don't you? You take pictures of him for that that newspaper. Do you have any with his shirt off? But what would what but what would but what but what would Uncle Ben say about you seeing other people? Well, he didn't mind that when we were married. Nope. Not even I'm not even gonna ask about that. Besides, why, why would you want to be with someone who I I hear is genetically mutated and is a smoker? Ooh, a bad boy. I'm from an era where smoking was cool. 
you know, while he was carrying me away to safety, I think I could feel his... He has tattoos and, and a gambling problem and, and, and does cocaine. So do I. To all three. You know what? I know the perfect thing. Oh, this used to work on all the boys in junior college. I'm, what are you going to do? I'm going to put on my slinky cocktail dress, spray on my best perfume, and dangle off the ledge of the Chrysler building. What? Boys can't resist a damsel in distress. Any minute now. Any minute. Listen here, newbie. It's a dog eat dog world out here. And as a PA, you need to make a good impression on your first day. I'll do what it takes to climb the ranks of this biz. Great. Well, I need you to just go into that trailer for The Rock and retrieve him for the next scene in Jumanji Cruise 2. Welcome to the Zootopia. The Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Just get him to come out. And he better come out in perfect condition. Or you can kiss your Hollywood dreams goodbye. Hello, Mr. Rock? I've, I've come to get you, um, but... Oh my god! <laughs> okay, uh, don't be alarmed. Yes, I am The Rock, but I took a shower and that was just a mistake because I was in there too long and now I'm simply the mud. Don't worry, even as the mud, I've still got the rock's boundless optimism. Just leave me clumped in the sun for a few hours. I'll be fine. Why are you so okay with this? Look, I'm a millionaire, everyone likes me, and I'm still really handsome. You are still very handsome, but they need you on set now. All right, no problem. I have just to solve. Get my protein shake over there. All right, now just pour it in, swirl it around, and we'll be good to go! Okay, I'm ready. That's it? A workout isn't a workout without a post-workout shake. Gotta look after your body. Well, let's go. Uh, just gotta move one mud leg at a time. That's that's one step. This isn't working. I got this. I'm the mud. <laughs> we don't have time. Um, I need some uh, uh wire hangers. Yeah, that'll work. Ooh. Uh. Wow, I feel great. This will definitely work. This isn't going to work. I'll just have to go out and play my role like this. For the fans. There's gotta be a way to turn you back. Wait a minute. What if you go out and do my scene? You know, be the big Hollywood star. Wow, you mean it? <gasps> yeah, it's that or uh, I go out as the mud. Wow, a big Hollywood star. <gasps> nah, I'll just go out as the mud. <laughs> I love my nighttime walks. Hey, Moon. Oh, hey there. You want to fuck my brains out? Yes. Dang, Moon. 
You sure are good at sex. It's because I have a lot of experience. I mean, I am constantly having sex with my friend Space. Space seems cool. I am. Space is negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit. I am. Say, Moon. Burn. You ever think about getting out of this crazy town? And setting up a life somewhere? Yes. I mean, a porch? Yes. A tire swing? Yes. No. A bunch of kids? Yes. And who knows where they came from? Yes. I think about it all the time. I hate not being on a farm so much. It's the only thing I hate about being in space. Well, come away with me, Moon. Come away. Somewhere far, far away. Like, I mean, Burm Mount Vernon, or even maybe Westchester. Okay, only because I don't know anywhere else. Goodbye, space. See ya. I think we're gonna last a long, long time.